and we back let's get it and you can see it right there chris mitchell has committed finally we was waiting 12 weeks when we finally got him he said he wants to bring texas southern to a level of national promise and that's why we was recruiting him he's different he wants to be different he's ready to be different let's see where clint actually ended up signing to he signed to the university of texas maybe the hbcu lifestyle was maybe too much for him but i don't blame him man i wish him nothing but success moving forward and i'm happy for him man we'll see you down the road but anyway Avery Craig from Arizona State ended up winning Heisman. One day, hopefully somebody from TSU can uh, win Heisman, but man, the future is bright. I'm going to go over to Conference USA individual stats. First, I'm going to go to the quarterback. Travis Henry, where you at? He's probably somewhere in the middle of the pack. And that man been through so much this year, his ups and downs, man. Shout out to Travis Henry, he a real one, for real, for real. You feel me? I head over to receiving because y'all know we don't run the ball. Last year, we did not run. I'm just curious where Lee Fowler's is at. I know he's leading the conference, but I want to know about how much. Oh my goodness. Man, look at them numbers. 22.2 yards per catch. And his yardage is it's a landslide. The crazy thing is he's coming back next year too. But let me go to NCA. Let me see where his stats was nationally. Number three in the nation. That's just crazy. These are the ball games this year. Um, I'm really curious about Conference USA. So Southern Missing Conference USA, they was nine to five this year, made a ball game. Utah, UCLA. We got UCF that we just beat. They're eight and five. They won their ball game. Tulsa, they're in the Fort Worth Bowl. So you know, man, like if we just end in the top three, the top four of our conference, man, we're gonna we're gonna make a ball game. I'm curious where the University of Houston is at because I feel like that's the best team in the conference. So let me see. Maybe not though. South Carolina, Wake Forest, Washington State versus Louisville, Michigan, and Miami. Ooh, Penn State is playing Iowa State. Penn State ranked number six. There's Houston right there, 10 and four. They won a bowl game. But Penn State was ranked six in the nation. They're playing Iowa State. That's not even ranked. I'd be mad as hell. Six flavor, Alabama, Clemson. Get into uh, some BCS bowls down here. Just want to get real active. Orange Bowl, Virginia Tech, Iowa. Sugar Bowl, Georgia, Arizona State. Tostitas Bowl, 21-21. National Championship, West Virginia versus USC, 21-20. That was a good game. Going into next year, this is our budget for the school. You know, TSU, we ain't got too much money, man. We just working with what we got, you hear me? But the discipline, I don't really care, honestly. We'll make sure training's up and recruiting's up. Now we're moving on to the players that are leaving this year, man. Even though they was 40 overall, 44, we got 48 down there, man. They played their role, man, and and they didn't they didn't give me no problems. We got William Mayhew, we got Travis Henry. The crazy thing is with William Mayhew, I didn't know he was a senior. I thought he was coming back. I'm tripping, but shout out to Travis Henry, man. You good with me. If you want to come back to the University of Texas Southern, be a coach, you good. Shout out to David Bryant. You know what I'm saying? We had problems with the beginning of the year, but you got your act right. So let's move on to recruiting. Transfer coming in. His name is Atari Rogers, Colorado State. That mission is set. Why would I decline him? Bring that boy in. Why would I decline him? Don't ask me that. Sign him. So we moving on to recruit, man. The bread and the butter of the situation we got going on right now. Current targets. This is who I'm targeting. We got Bill Booker, free safety, which is a position we really need. We're going to be cool with him at first. Give him four points. Got Robbie Smith. He's a corner. Much needed. Chris Morales. Come on. Bobby Hufford. Hell no. Nah. Nigga said Hufford. We want him though. You feel me? Thomas Myers. Assistant coach. Coach style. I think they like my coaching style. Corey Jones. We need him. Hey coach, what's up? Marquise Nichols, he's the quarterback. He's gonna be the starter if I can bring him in because we have no quarterback right now. And y'all know I'm not playing Brett Thompson. Brett Thompson's the worst player I've ever played with on any video game. All right, now we're going into week four of recruiting. This is where we're at. So after four weeks of recruiting, these are the players that committed to our school. We got Marque uh, Marquise Nichols, that was big time. We needed him. Rudy Utley, and we got Morales at the top. So that was a good week. Hopefully we can bring in the rest. Now we're going into week five, the last week of recruiting. Last week of recruiting, man. Bill Booker, what's up? Come on over to TSU. These are all the players that committed elsewhere. But we ain't worried about them. Bill Booker. Bring the house. Yeah, send the whole house. We need him. Uh, we're going to preach to him. 
Program prestige. That's what we're gonna tell him. Program prestige. Okay. Jason Mack, we need you too. I don't think we need to send a house with him though because he's already going to come here. Bobby Hufford, you feel me? We're gonna send a house with you too. We're gonna get that offensive line together. We got a freshman quarterback. Kellen Kelly. I'm just gonna have the head coach give him a phone call. I already have a quarterback. I don't use all my points on him. Let's move around. Hold on. Week five, the last week of recruiting. So these are the recruits we got the last week. This is it right here. We got Bill Booker. We got Jason Mack, Todd Foster, Leroy Williams. I'm not going to lie. That was a good week. These are all our signings for the end of the year. We got Bill Booker. We got Jason Mack. We got Chris Mitchell. Um, a lot of names are subjected to change just because a lot of players are finna get some of my subscribers' names. So if you want your name on these rosters, just let me know and I'll I change it for you. At the end of the day, recruiting went real good. I'm excited. I'm excited to play with all these players, see what they're made of, you feel me? So now I'm finna show you the people who are changing positions and some of the returning players. We got Brett Thompson, of course. Jason Mack. Um, Atari Rogers, I didn't realize since he transferred, he cannot play the first year. So that's a bummer. Got Nate Ness Smith. Uh, Rudy Utley, I'm gonna put him to the left end because we don't have a left end. They're about the same, so boom. He gonna play the left end. Got Bill Booker, Chris Johnson. Chris Johnson, I'm finna move him to wide receiver because we already have a starting re safety. So boom, there we go, he's at wide receiver. Got Todd Foster, he's an athlete. He can play quarterback, running back, or wide receiver. So what I'm gonna do with him right now, I'm gonna put him at, put him at strong safety because nobody on the roster right now is at safety, so we're empty right there. So we're going into the spring game right now. The spring game right now is just, it's just to show where my team is at right now, what I need to work on, where we gotta get better at. But first things first, with this spring game, none of the new recruits are here because they're still in high school. All their transfers, well, we only have one transfer and that's Atari Rogers. He's still at Colorado State right now, and he won't be here till the summer. So pretty much, we're just seeing what's left after all the recruits that didn't graduated and transferred, etc. But Hill right now is cooking. On the purple team, the starting quarterback right now is Brett Thompson. Y'all already know about Brett Thompson. I might cut him. Some people might say I'm the worst person in charge, but I call it how I see it, and I really don't care. You feel me? You're a bum, you're a bum. That's Brett Thompson drop back right now. Looking for Lee Fowler. Lee Fowler, yes, Mr. Surehands. You feel me? Without a doubt, just look for Lee Fowler. Hit him with the screen. Get active, Lee. We'll see a lot of this this year. The thing is, like, uh, spring game, we have Dan Binko at running back right now. You know, Dan Binko, he don't want to play running back. He'd rather just play corner, but I have him playing corner and receiver. But since we low for the spring game, I got him playing running back right now. So he he doing it all right now. And with the last play of the spring game, Brett Thompson trying to make a play. You know, he, he working with what he got, we working with him. He throw an interception. We give the damn Binko just to end it on a good note. To end the spring game, the starters lost 46 to 13, which is honestly just ridiculous. But these are all the players that benefited from training. We got Nene Smith, we got Snyder, we got Neil which is a good sign. It just shows that like, even the players that aren't playing are still benefiting from the program. So I can only tip my hats off to that. Towards the bottom, we got BJ Okafor, Alonzo Ramsey, Terrell Porter, Brandon Hill, Chris Johnson, who's gonna play some receiver this year. Got Dan Binko, he's a senior, but still producing, I love it. Lee Fowler, it's the Ty Rogers, you feel me? So moving forward, I have to make an offensive MVP, which is going to be Lee Fowlers. I have to make a defensive MVP, which is going to be Dane Binko. I expect him to lead by example, man. Control the locker room. So now, right now, we're just cutting players because our roster is pretty high. Um, Brett Thompson, I'm finna cut Brett Thompson. I'm finna just change him because um, Todd Foster is a little better than him. He's an athlete. So just in case we got to go to the third string running uh, quarterback, excuse me, Todd Foster would be it. Um, the receiving core, we gotta fill out, so I'm gonna put Dan Binko in there just like last year. I know he doesn't wanna play offense, but that's what he's gonna have to do for the betterment of the team, and that's what it is. Going into next year, man, this is our roster. We got Dan Binko, we got Atari Rogers. Atari Rogers cannot play this year because he's a transfer from Colorado State. 
So he got to sit out this year, but you know, it is what it is. We're just going to adjust because that's what we do. We got Tommy Cravens, Mikhail Koch. Looking at this roster right now from last year to this, it's a huge change. So we move it in the right direction. We just got to win games and make a statement, man. The good thing we're going into this year, a lot of players won't have to play both sides of the ball. Besides Dane Binkles, he's going to have to play receiver. And Todd Foster might play a little bit of running back, but that's cool. So the second game of the year, I had to put an HBCU school up in there. So we're going to play Howard at Howard. Our first five games of the year are away, so we're not playing home to like week six. On the schedule, we have Wisconsin, but I'm going to change that to Georgia Tech. So we're going to make that trip to Atlanta. Wisconsin just a little too far on the map for us. So we're just going to play Georgia Tech, which I feel like they'll keep their ranking. But yeah, y'all, that's the end of the off season. Week one, we got Air Force at Air Force. So I'll see y'all next week against Air Force. I appreciate everybody that's been watching my content, man. Y'all keep me motivated, man. I appreciate y'all, but I'm gone.